Hello everybody, Liz here and welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk about one of my favorite erotica collection slash romance series by one of my favorite writers and that is Cressley Cole's The Game Maker series. So The Game Maker series follows three Russian brothers who are for the most part on the wrong side of the law aka the Russian mafia situation. So this book series follows three brothers and three different books. So the first one that you should be aware of, I don't have the physical copy but I have on my Kindle, is The Professional. So this one follows the older brother. Then we have The Master who is the second brother and the very last book that follows the youngest brother which is called The Player. So this one like I said follows three brothers. However, the stories really revolve around the heroines or the females in the story. So in the first one we have Natalia and Alex or Alexander meeting under very interesting circumstances. Book two is a middle brother with Maxime and Kat. And in the third book we have Victoria and Dimitri and each of this book follows the couples. However, towards book two and three we start to see the couples from the previous books come in because they're siblings. So this is actually one of my favorite non-paranormal series because I don't really read non-paranormal romances. Um, so this is probably one of my favorites. It is a little heavy on the BDSM so if you're not into that I do not recommend it. However, if you did enjoy like Fifty Shades of Grey and have not been able to find something similar, I definitely recommend this. But Warning, it is much better written and it has much better sex scenes. No offense to, you know, the author of Fifty Shades. So like I said, this follows the three brothers. Alex in the first one is very tormented. Actually, they're all really tormented and I'm starting to realize that that is, that is something that I read a lot. So as you can see, this is the first one. So she initially released it in three parts. That's why it says part one. I don't know if it's still being sold that way. And given by the memes, also it kind of gives you an indication on the personalities of the brothers. Again, these are very tropey and they can come off as a little bit cheesy, but I'm totally okay with it. I love the brothers, but I think my favorite part is the female protagonist. So like the heroine of the stories. We have in the very first one we have a virgin but she's not a naive kind of what we have come accustomed to when it comes to virgins and stuff like that. She is a, a college student, she's working multiple jobs and she has a best friend and one of my favorite parts in the way that Cressley treats this character is that yes she becomes immersed in this other world however she is still very much grounded in her family life back in the states because she does travel to Russia for a little bit and her best friend is still a huge part of her life like the friendships are still a thing and something that's always bugged me in a lot of paranormal romances like or in romances in general is that women never have other women to talk to especially when it comes to stuff like sex or relationships or any stuff like this that we tend to see in movies or you know hear about and, and stuff like that or even experience in day-to-day -day life so I really really enjoyed that most of these women had a family base to talk to. Kat in the second book not so much because of a situation that's going on with her life. She's kind of running away all the time so she doesn't have a grounded system to kind of speak to. Uh, but Victoria and uh, Natalia definitely do. Natalia's friend is probably one of my favorite side characters. She's super funny, super down to earth, definitely asks the right kinds of questions and is the kind of friend that you want to have. And uh, Victoria's family in book three is a very supportive family in a really, really strange way. And I definitely, definitely loved that aspect of it where their families and their friendships were still very much involved. And although these a lot of this stuff has isolated from their families, they, they are still part of it. So it's one of my favorite parts. Another thing that I really enjoy is the, I just really, really like the character development in the men. It's very subtle because part of the reason I'm intrigued about these books is because of the type of men that they have. Like the sullen, you know, particular tropey men and I absolutely love that but they are also very human in a lot of the stuff that they do. 
so it's something that I very much enjoy. The books are very well written, they keep you intrigued. I think I read most of them pretty quickly, I still go back and read them whenever I'm feeling down. So I definitely recommend them if you like romance, if you like families like getting together in the aspect of like these books follow the brothers, if you like really well written sexy time scenes that are like make you fan yourself, I definitely recommend this series. Cressy Cole in general is probably one of my favorite paranormal writers because she is so quirky in the way that she writes stuff. Everything is done in a way that just kind of keeps me coming back and it never gets tiring. So in the sense that like a lot of romance novels tend to follow the same tropes and you can kind of predict what's going to happen. With Cressley Cole, I don't ever know what's gonna happen. It's always interesting to find out like how she's gonna get a couple to be together. Sometimes it's the men that want the relationship and not the women and I definitely appreciate that too. And then vice versa too where like the women want the relationships and the men don't. So you get kind of a little bit of everything. I think my favorite book is gonna be the second one for the sexy time scenes. They are really really like Oh my goodness, it's just a lot of them. So if you don't like a lot of explicit sexy time scenes, I said before like BDSM, this is not the book for you. Book two definitely has a lot more of that than book one and book three. And I enjoy that. I have I've I have fun reading that stuff. So it's probably my favorite one. Definitely followed by the professional, which is the first one. And I think I like the romance and that one a little bit better. The stakes are really really high for that one especially towards the end I think it's like part three or something like that. The stakes are really high and it kind of feels almost like a crime drama and I really really appreciate it for the storyline. My least favorite is the third one but that doesn't go to say that I still really enjoy it. I still go back and read certain parts and I find myself intrigued to how again she pulled off keeping me surprised for all three books, keeping these brothers very separate in my head as well as the heroines where I appreciate and I like all of the heroines. So sometimes in romance novels it can be like you don't like the female heroine and you're kind of just there for the guy. Um, and in this one you really do enjoy the female's perspective. I think a little bit more than the male perspective. They're super fun. They are a little more serious than perhaps her other series which is the Morals After Dark series one of my favorite series ever. But they're definitely a lot more dramatic and a lot more intriguing. They feel a little more mature because they're a little more serious because the man, the male protagonists are a little older. Anyways, I think I babbled off enough. I definitely think that you guys should read them. I gave both, I think all of three of these five out of five on Goodreads, but I give most of the books, mo most if not all of Cressley Cole's books five out of fives. So I definitely recommend them if you like romance, if you like erotica, if you like beautiful Russian men, and if you like strong female characters, funny female characters, and stable relationships in these characters' lives, particularly in the females. The men, again, we know these tropes of them being troubled, troubled men. So yeah, that is all for me on Cressley Cole's The Game Maker series. I will be doing more videos like this where I talk about just books that I really love and that I consistently go back to and read. And then I'll also be doing kind of movies and TV shows. I do this a lot on Twitter and on Tumblr and I thought it'd be a great idea to kind of show you guys my passions the things that I enjoy, the things that I constantly ask people to read or watch or experience because, you know, let's spread the positivity and the love for the things that you like. Yeah, guys, that is all from me. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys like this whenever you guys are watching this. Have a good morning, afternoon, or night whenever you happen to be watching this and happy readings. Adios!